How's it going, everyone? It's Sam. Oftentimes, people feel like they're being mistreated. They're not getting enough money for their own efforts. I mean, uh, it breaks down to just if you're owning your own business, maybe you have to pay Uncle Sam 40%. Yeah, you have to pay taxes 30, 40%. A lot of people get pissed off at that, but they pay them. Now, some industries you have a cut before the cut. For example, here on YouTube, right? if I get paid uh, from YouTube ads, YouTube goes and find those ads for me. They have the distribution platform. So they'll take 45% of the overall ad revenue and I get 55%. Some people get pissed at this because then you know they still have to pay taxes afterwards. Some people pay more than that. <laughs> this is kind of crazy. I did not know it was this low, but royalties uh, for people making music, uh, they only end up getting about 15% on average of what they should make or what, what's made overall of total revenue. So imagine that you, you work and you're Taylor Swift, for example, and you make a song. Um, it does really well. It makes $100 million you get $15 million of that. The rest goes to songwriters, goes to the studio, goes to uh, the distribution platforms. You get stuck with a lowly 15%. Now, this is kind of crazy. I, I knew there was low. I know, I know this is a sticking point in the music industry. That's why I do think there's going to be some way that blockchain technology can kind of take out the middleman. That's the whole point of blockchain and crypto is to take out middlemen that want to take money from you. And some people are already doing that, right? Without crypto, like Taylor Swift cut out uh, the cut out the studios, right? Uh, Swift and her family were reportedly disappointed by studios demands. So they cut them and went directly to AMC. This is for their uh, movies. Also, we've seen her do that with songs as well, but not everyone has that kind of reach. Not everyone can know, produce their own songs. Sometimes it's just too expensive, which is where I think there will be some platform for distribution that pays people directly. I, I think it makes sense. Now, the question is, which platform is that be, is that going to be? Now, today I want to talk to you about one called Chuki Records. Chuki Records. Now, if they can do what we're talking about here, if they can become the, the uh, studio, the crypto studio, it could be big. Let's let's go through what they are. They are a sponsor of the channel. So if you want to learn more information, I'll put links to it underneath the video. They already have some collaborations and some big partnerships too. So we'll go through that. But of course, always do your own research. Make sure you feel comfortable with any kind of investment. I'm not here to tell you to buy anything. All I'm doing is telling you what they are doing. And they're not even live yet. They're doing a, uh, they're, they're going to go on a launch pad, actually a really well-known launch pad in a few days. And then they're shooting for a list uh, launch in June. So we'll go through all that. If you don't mind, hit subscribe, turn on the bell notification. There are links underneath the video in case you want to trade cryptocurrencies, but let's get into it. So introducing the innovative Chuki Records, a gateway to your exclusive share of the music industry. We release songs with high profile artists, each with its own NFT. These NFTs are not just a digital item. It's your ticket to a, lifeline, a lifetime connection with these songs and artists you love. Artists benefit from a higher royalty share than they would get from traditional music labels, while Chuki Records gives them the freedom to release music as they wish, not forcing them. Step into the realm where you can become an integral uh, or an integral part of the music creation process, Chuki Records will mirror the success stories of the industry giants like Def Jam and Sony Records. Chuki Records often uh, offers you the chance to invest in your favorite songs and artists, aligning your success with theirs. Now, the cool thing is when you buy the NFTs, you can actually earn money from them as well. So for example, they say over 100K in revenue was earned through their biggest song, through Busta Rhymes, who got 1.55 million streams. So over 100K in revenue was earned, and they have artists like DeVito, Popcan, Eric Bellinger, World President. Uh, they have all endorsed them so far. Let's go through some of their partnerships. So to be clear, they've actually had a song with Busta Rhymes that hit 1.55 million streams. Let me play that for you so that you can hear it. Just a couple seconds here. I don't want to get copyrighted. Everything choking. Yeah. Everything 
chooky. Everything chooky. We could be chooky. They had 1.55 million streams already, and uh, they are making some partnerships too. They're getting into some interesting programs. For example, they joined the prestigious Apple Partners Program. So they just announced that they're delighted to share that Chuki Records has officially been welcomed into the prestigious Apple Partner Program. The notable achievement marks a significant milestone for them, uh, positioning Chuki Records as the first crypto based record label to be recognized by Apple, a leader in innovation and technology, and obviously huge in the music space. I mean, Apple music was massive uh, with iTunes way back in the day. They are known for exclusivity and they're invitation only. So interesting, interesting. So uh, they go through a little bit more of that here, which you can read on your own time if you want. They've also made a collaboration with Ticketmaster. They say, we're in sync, a lyrical partnership making memories click exclusive tickets the beat is so tight feel the vibe every day is a chooky night maybe I, maybe i'm supposed to sing that <laughs> i'm not sure but uh they have made a partnership there or made a collaboration also they are uh you can see this here too uh Chuki is now officially partnered with Flues and whitelisted on MoonPay. This means you can buy Chu directly with Visa, MasterCard, Apple, and Google Play. They're also going to go through the TokenFi Launchpad. If you haven't heard about TokenFi, I actually talked about it during the bear market. It's a project that's run by the people at Floki. So this is kind of like their real world asset project. It's a hundred million dollar market cap. And Floki is now multi-billion. So they're planning on doing this on May 21st. Um, so they're going to be on this launch pad if you do want to you know, buy some of it. Also, uh, their, their full marketplace release is planned before their TGE. Their TGE is mid to late June at this point. That's what they're planning on. Now, some of these TGEs have been pushed back. So just know that that's always a possibility too. The starting market cap, they're saying, is going to be $3 million with a fully diluted of 6.55 million. So relatively small, right? Uh, the starting market cap is actually larger than most that I've seen recently, but the fully diluted is smaller. So they're only gonna dilute about uh, 100% after they launch. So about half the tokens will come out at launch. They are also on Hulu, right? So they're rewriting the entertainment playbook. We're excited to announce Chuki's playlist will stream for thir for 43 million plus Hulu subscribers, a big step with Hulu's selective partnerships. This is coming from about two months ago. So let me know your thoughts on all this underneath the video. Do you think there's going to be a winner? Do you think there's gonna be someone that really breaks out in the crypto music industry? that is able to offer um, kind of seamless uh, transactions and be able to take out the middleman? Let me know if you think that's possible down below in the comment section. Let me know what you think about Chuki too. Big thanks to Chuki for sponsoring this video. I'll leave their, I'll leave their links underneath in case you wanna check them out. I mean, heck, you can go just follow them on Twitter. They have a lot of, um, a lot of people that do follow them. A lot of people that I know, like Mario Nawfall. Rodney from Crypto Journey, Eric Crypto Man, Justin Wu. So you can check them out underneath the video. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I will see you in the next video.